As our card collections grow, so too does our need for protection. Our cards go in sleeves, our sleeves in deck boxes, and in some cases, even our deck boxes go in cases. In this video, I will offer a critical review of four options for protecting large collections, multiple decks and deck boxes, as I examine the Hydra five-compartment riveted deck box, the much-anticipated Dragon Shield Magic Carpet, the latest version of the Quiver Card Case, and finally, an absolute newcomer you may not have even heard of before, The Garage by Legion and Blackfire. And with so many choices, some are better than others, sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look. The Hydra 5 Compartment Riveted Deck Box by Monster is a monster of a disappointment. A flimsy magnetic closure houses five removable deck compartments, which each hold exactly 75 single-sleeved cards, for a total of 450 single-sleeved cards. These riveted deck compartments are thin and poorly glued together. They are also only barely able to hold 75 single-sleeved cards, meaning that there is absolutely no room for additional tokens, to say nothing of double sleeving or options for larger 100-card decks, unless of course you divide those decks between compartments. Compartments can't even be traded out with the thinnest of alternate deck box, as even the smallest Ultra Pro or Ultimate Guard plastic box needs to be squeezed in and is just tall enough to keep the lid from closing. Not that the lid does a very good job of staying closed on its own, as just a simple shake sends the contents flying. The cause is, no doubt, due to the poorly glued on magnets, which happen to peel right off with minor pressure or just the passage of time. So hail Hydra. Ha! Hardly. I can't even describe this as much of a budget buy, as the MSRP is $14.95, poor magnets, lid will not stay shut, ugly, awful design, thin plastic, and very narrow capacity and uses. This isn't even a spectacular failure, just a D-minus for disappointing dud. Dragon Shield, maker of the best card sleeves on the market, has recently been expanding into the accessory game. I've reviewed both their Dragon Shield nest boxes, as well as their portfolio folios and binder pages, and now I can review the hotly anticipated Magic Carpet, which attempts to offer an easy and stylish way to store and transport your cards. Its design is as elegant and high quality as the Dragon Shield nests themselves. Tough textured exterior and cloth lined interior. But the biggest problem is that this is almost entirely just for cards, and does not hold much in the way of deck boxes. In many ways, this makes the Magic Carpet more of a deck box itself, holding 500 double-sleeved or 700 single-sleeved cards. It can hold Dragon Shield sleeve boxes, up to seven, but it can't hold top loaders, which is a disappointment. And that also means deck boxes such as the Ultimate Guard Boulder will not fit either. Strangely, Dragon Shield's own colored acrylic cases don't fit in well, which was yet another letdown. You have to turn them awkwardly on their side or else the lid won't shut. I'm honestly gonna say that these don't fit, and the magic carpet is not even long enough to fit a playmat inside of. It will hold Dragon Shield shell deck boxes, which are their thin, basic plastic deck box, as well as similar deck boxes such as the Ultra Pro basic plastic top loaders. But as soon as you get to a slightly thicker design like Legion's iconic deck box, it simply doesn't fit in, and that's not even that much thicker. Obviously, the Dragon Shield nest boxes won't fit, even with their top removed. So this is really just for cards and the smallest, most basic of deck boxes.
The Magic Carpet also features a fully removable cover that they encourage you to use as a playmat. But unlike a playmat, this is not made of cloth and neoprene, but rather a thick plastic exterior with permanent and rather deep creases to allow for the carpet to fold and wrap around the main case. And to be frank, this whole idea that the Magic Carpet's removable lid can serve as a playmat is nothing but a gimmick. It doesn't really do what a playmat does. Think about it, it does not really lay flat. The permanent creases in it due to the needed folds are going to make it difficult to play on. I found it very frustrating as I picked up and swiped up my cards off of it. The surface area is nothing like a nice cloth surface on a neoprene mat, and also unlike the cloth and neoprene mats, this cannot be washed. So as soon as somebody spills their big gulp, you are in big trouble. Gulp. Price is $55.95 US. That is indeed a lot, and while I try not to let price influence me too much, the fact that this is almost entirely just for holding 500 double-sleeved cards, not really for holding boxes, and no, the carpet is not really a playmat, I just can't get behind that price, or quite frankly, this product. Grade is a borderline C minus D plus. It can just barely pass for some because I guess there is someone out there looking exclusively for a case to store cards and they may find this acceptable, even though that price is high. But as we've already seen and are about to see, there's a lot better options to be had. Now here's an updated item from a plucky little company that could called Quiver. I reviewed the original Quiver design many years ago and even then it was extremely impressive. Impressive. But the minor updates they've given this over the years have really transformed it. Spacious and versatile, the quiver holds 500 double-sleeved cards or 1,000 unsleeved cards and also can fit most deck boxes. In addition to this, it comes with a small little selection of throw-ins, such as four thick acrylic dividers, 100 penny sleeves, both a shoulder strap and a hand strap, and of course, best of all, it comes with quiver's three-year guarantee. Mesh lining on the lid allows for dice, pencils, and other small items to be held, and the cushioned interior comes with six adjustable Velcro dividers, allowing you to store and organize loose cards, decks, etc. But as I said, the quiver can hold Ultimate Guard boulders, Legion Iconics, and even Dragon Shield sleeve boxes, and much, much more, and still zip up comfortably with great exterior protection. The three-year guarantee is not needed, as I've had my original quiver for over three years now, and it still looks as good as the day I first bought it. Thick, water-resistant exterior available in a variety of colors, and it has self-healing zippers with water shield flaps. I like the option of the removable shoulder or hand straps, and having now moved from somewhere that often rained to an area that almost always rains, I appreciate the water-resistant qualities for when I have to run from house to car and car to game store in everything from a drizzle to a downpour. And out of all of these, the quiver is the only one that can withstand any amount of transport tussles and turns, as the zippered closure ensures that it will never ever pop open. While we get to larger and more complex deck box and card holders, they become heavier and harder to keep closed, especially with magnets. The quiver doesn't have that problem.
Price is $44.90 and again, comes in three different colors with a three-year warranty. These are just excellent and a well-earned A- for not only doing so much so well, but striving to offer something different and unique. Next up is an item that is very new to the market, the Legion Blackfire Garage. Garage, garage, oh la di da, just call this a card hold as wow, does this hold a lot of cards? Well, whatever you wanna call it, it is an incredible extra large premium deck case with a fully removable cover. Between its two compartments, it can hold over 1,000 double-sleeved cards. That's 10 double-sleeved commander decks, wow. Or a large cube with space left over for your lands and tokens. And yes, it holds cubamajigs, cube boxes. Oh, but it also holds deck boxes. Which deck boxes? Yes, it holds most, even an ultra pro satin tower. And you don't need to squeeze it or squish it in either. Put in a boulder or legions or an REP stainless steel. The garage has space for them all. And yes, it holds top loaders. So if you ever wanted to store 1000 top loaders, this is for you. The exterior is a very lovely high quality faux leather with a soft microfiber liner and the cover is fully removable, which allows free access to your cards without taking up too much table space. I know I've had so many people asking, what single case can hold eight, nine, ten commander decks? Well, this can. What do I put my large cube in? This. What can hold top loaders? The garage can. Oh, and I guess you can use that removable cover as a playmat, but I don't know why you'd want to. But hey, I'm not here to judge. Oh, well, I kind of am, but not you, just these products. Best of all, the garage is long enough to accommodate playmats. And so in addition to holding a wide variety of deck boxes, let's say you have one, let's say you have two, Let's say you even have three play mats that you want to take with you. Just roll them up. And look at that. They fit perfectly in the garage comfortably. I could probably do a fourth one on top or in that roll. And even with me doing three stacked on top of each other, you know, you roll it and it isn't perfectly even at the ends. Look at how easy that dropped right in there. I like having the size and shape and duality of the garage quite a lot. I can use this for everything from my cube to just a deck library and some play mats while on the run. Price is up there at $60 each, but remember, this is more than twice the size of an Ultimate Guard Archive or a Quiver. While not everyone is going to have need of this large a garage, those that do are going to love the high quality, extreme durability, and great versatility provided. And it is a solid A grade. Great job, Legion and Blackfire. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out over at patreon.com by becoming a patron alum of the channel. Everything I do here at Tellarian Community College is made possible thanks in large part to the support of patrons over at Patreon. My current goal is to get my office funding up to 100%. That means that if I hit this goal, I am able to affordably and comfortably cover all of my office and production costs. Costs. That means in addition to all of the cameras, lighting equipment, sound equipment, computers and editing software, guest appearances, yeah, every time I have a cosplayer on, I pay them. Every time I work with an artist on a design, I pay them. I just feel it's important. Guests on the channel, people who cosplay, people who co-host with me. It would be wrong of me to expect them to work for free, and I'm very proud that I'm able to pay them. 
The money at Patreon doesn't go right into my pocket. It goes into Talarian Community College. The equipment, the people, the products, evaluation samples, and countless other costs that go into making these videos. Patreon is what helps me do this, and my content will always be free, and I'm not going anywhere, ever. But if you do enjoy my content, and you do think it has value, nothing in the world helps more than just a little bit of support on Patreon. Or if Patreon's not your jam, then perhaps a playmat or Talarian Community College t-shirt over at the Talarian Community College student store. We've got lots of merch like this for sale, and each one helps keep the lights on and keep keeps us doing what we do here at Talarian Community College, which hopefully is of some help to you. And I thank you. And this program was made possible thanks to a sponsorship from Card Kingdom, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. So thank you.